Hi, I'm Grace. From Virtual Fitness TV. Walking 1,000 or more steps a day is good for many things. This video is designed to have a natural virtual walk in the world's most beautiful locations. This video is also a perfect warm-up for a treadmill, or even an indoor bicycle. We would like to welcome you to a tour through Athens. Let us explore this wonderful city in the south of Greece. The city borders on the Saronic Gulf, which is part of the Aegean Sea. Athens also is the capital and largest city in Greece. On three sides, the city is surrounded by mountains. The mountains Aminos, Pendel, Parnita, and Agalio embrace the city on three sides, the other side of the city borders on the sea. Isn't the view from here over the city breathtaking? Each of the mountains have special characteristics. For example, the foot of Parnita, which is the highest mountain in Attica, is covered with pine forests. The mountains Amidos and Pendeli are famous for its marble. You definitely have a good variety of nature surrounding Athens. Let us take a moment to enjoy a view over the city. In the back you can see how the different mountains embrace the city. The city of Athens is one of the oldest cities in the world, spanning a recorded history of over 3,400 years. Still, the first humans were said to be in the city between 11th and 7th millennium BC. This is the Panathenaic Stadium, which is also known as the Calamaro. This means beautiful marble. It is the only stadium in the world, which was built entirely of marble. It had a capacity of 50,000 people. It also hosted the opening ceremony of the first modern Olympic Games in 1896. This is the Zipian. It is a building in the National Garden, and it is used for official and private ceremonies. It was also used as a fencing hall in the Olympic Summer Games in 1896. Here we are at the National Archaeology Museum. There are several collections which can be marveled at in the neoclassical building. For example the sculpture collection or the vase and decorative objects collection. If you want to see wonderful plants and statues, you can definitely visit some beautiful spots, such as the National Garden Athens. Or as you can see here the Pedian II Arios. It is one of the largest parks in the city. The nature in the park is breathtaking. There are now over 1,200 trees, more than 50,000 flowers, and 2,500 roses. Take a moment to enjoy this sunny day, and just breathe in and relax. Let's have a look at the Theater of Dionysus. It was built as a sanctuary of the Greek god Dionysus, god of the vine and grape harvest. About 17,000 visitors could come here to see theatrical performances. The Olympic Games have been important in the history of Athens. Athens is one of the only three cities that hosted the Olympic Games twice. The first Games in 1896, and again in 2004. This is the Agora area of the Athens Olympic Sport Complex. The impressive walkway has 100 steel arches, which form a big tunnel. Doesn't it look futuristic? On your right there is the Olympic Stadium, which is also called Spiros Lewis. It was opened in 1982, and also hosted other sporting events, such as the 1982 European Championships in Athletics. 
For the Olympic Games there were also important changes in the infrastructure of the city. A new airport was constructed, and there were other upgrades, such as for the Athens Metro. In total, Athens built 120 kilometers of new roads and upgraded 90 kilometers of roads for the Olympic Games. Here you can see the Olympic Velodrome, an arena for track cycling. Originally it was built in 1991. But it was reconstructed and reopened in 2004. Let's see some other beautiful spots of the city. Here you can see the Odeon of Herod's Atticus from a closer look. The building was finished in 161 AD. It was built in memory of Herod's Atticus' wife. The theater was used for music concerts and had a capacity of 5,000. Nowadays it is still used as the main venue of the Athens festival. Here is the ocean side of the city. Soak in the sunny weather and enjoy the wonderful blue sky. The weather in the city is warmest in the summer months from June to August, with temperatures between 23 and 32 degrees Celsius. The winter months are quite mild, with temperatures around 7 to 15 degrees. An interesting fact about Athens is that democracy was established in the city around 500 BC. The city also experienced every form of government, from monarchy, democracy, communism and socialism. Another interesting fact is that the first ever plays were performed in this city. Even today, theaters are very important for the city, with nearly 150 theaters in Athens. The city is very popular amongst tourists. About 18 million tourists come to visit the city each year to see amazing sites, such as the Acropolis, the Temple of Zeus, or the Parthenon. Prepare yourself for a famous site of the city. We will visit the Parthenon now. This is the Parthenon, a temple on the Acropolis. It was built in order to dedicate to the ancient Greek goddess Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare. The building was completed 438 BC. The former temple is considered one of the world's greatest cultural monuments. The purpose of the temple was that as was the city treasury. It also served as a Christian church in the past. Let us go back to the water and enjoy this great tour in the sun. Interesting is that the city could have also been called Poseidonopolis after the god of the sea Poseidon. Still, it was named after the goddess Athena, which we talked about before. Some people believe that Athens always has been the capital of Greece. But the city only became the capital in 1834. The coastline of the city is pretty impressive with a total of about 25 kilometers. You can have marvelous walks or cycle rides here. Or if you go up in the mountains, hiking and mountain biking are popular activities. The reason why the city was built here is because of trade. The location was perfect because of the nearness to the sea. But you can also see beautiful sandy beaches in the city. Definitely nice to see after a stressful day. In ancient times, Athens was highly populated at the times with about 350,000 people in around 500 BC. Nowadays, the population is about 3 million. Enjoy the last few sun rays before the sun is going down on our tour. When it gets darker, the beauty of the ancient city and the contrast to the modern bustling life at night is wonderful to look at. This is nearly the end of our tour. We have seen wonderful sights, such as the Acropolis, the Odeon of Herod's Atticus, the Panathenaic Stadium, and the wonderful seaside of the city.
Thank you very much for staying with us on our tour through this breathtaking city. We hope you enjoyed it and that we will see you on our next tour as well. Please subscribe to our channel for the best virtual content. Every week new videos.